So some uh, highlights there of Christian Spectu of Romania. One of our super combat protagonists. Coming up in uh, our next bout, which is a super fight at lightweight, under 63 kilograms. There's the matchup. Turan Hasanov is his opponent. Hasanov, originally from Azerbaijan, but fights out of New York. And fight fans, remember, Super Combat is coming back for their next event, May 7th, in Bucharest, Romania. Don't miss it for more information. Very simple. Go to supercombat.com. Follow us on social media for all those details. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your next bout. This is three three-minute rounds in the 63 kg lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of Romania, Christian Specu. <laughs> Christian Specu, 26 years of age, 63.5 keys, 1 meter 69, 15 fights, 13 wins, 3 by way of KO. One draw, one loss. He's the WKA world champion. Took the silver medal at the Waco World Championships in 2013. Trains out of the famous Cyprian Sora Gymnasium, of course, trained by Cyprian Sora. Spetku comes off a seven-fight winning streak. Turan Hasanov, 26 years of age, fights out of New York, New York, 63.5 keys, 1 meter 73, 25 fights with 15 wins, one draw and the nine losses, trains at square circle, coached by Robert Rogan, a Muay Thai stylist, just a, a brief demonstration of the Y crew at the ropes there. As I said, originally from Azerbaijan, but now New York is his home. This is going to be a lively matchup, it really is. Hazanov knows his business, but so does Spetku. Ladies and gentlemen, three three minute rounds in the lightweight division. This is a USA versus the world matchup. Introducing first. The fighter on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 1.69 meters tall, weighing in at 63.5 kilos. His record, 13 wins, one defeat, and one draw. Fighting for Team Cyprian Sura, Bucharest, Romania, the 2015 WKA World Champion, Christian Polo Spectu. Standing across the ring and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 1.73 meters tall, weighing in at 63.5 kilos. His record, 15 wins, 9 defeats, and 1 draw. Fighting for the Square Circle Gym, New York City, USA. Tehran, Tornado, Hazanov. Your referee when the action begins, Cesar Jorge. I say stop, he stop. No clean, no elbow. Okay? Good luck. Judge? Judge? So this is our third match of the evening. A super fight in the lightweight division under 63.5 kilograms. Comes under the banner of the USA versus the rest of Super Combat USA versus the rest of the world. Christian Spetku in the longer red and gold shorts, fighting out of the red corner, and his opponent, Turan Hasanov, fighting out of the blue. Height advantage to Hasanov. Hasanov coming in at uh, 1 meter 73. Spetku, 63.5. Uh, 
and 1 meter 69. So four centimeters difference. That will help the range of Turan Hazanov. But Spetku likes to come in low and likes to go to work. A tough campaigner with great boxing skills. And you can see a lot of evasive work goes on on the inside while he lands his own shots and gets them off. So Hazanov starting to feel the heat there. Spetku going to the body, trying to drop the hands of Hazanov. But the confidence of Spetku. Hazanov trying to take stock of this. And the Super Combat promotion has produced a lot of tough Romanian fighters. It really has, of which Spetku is one. And uh, granite like Chin, undefeated in his last six. And Spetku puts the combinations together as well as the high kick in the corner. Hazinov under all kinds of pressure here. And that's the intent with which Spetku comes. That high kick goes over the wire in through the guard and starts to pile the pressure on. This might not go the distance, under a minute left. Referee Cesar Jorge watching very closely. And uh, Turan Hazinov under immense pressure here. Not really finding an answer. And Spetku knows it. Just picking the shots now, Spetku. This is great work in the opening round for Spetku. Loses his gum shield, replaced by the referee. Well, there was enough work there in that first round from Spetku, <laughs> enough to feed the needy. And uh, Hasinov absolutely outboxed here in this first round of our third bout. Turan Hashinov could get well and truly rinsed here. Spetku, well, everything about him screams, I've not come here to be average. And just look at the work rate inside with the thigh kick. Comes upstairs, trying to drop the hands of Hashinov. Fires in that knee strike. And Hazinov really did well to stay composed. That was an awful lot of pressure. Fat and furious from Spetku. Two of a scheduled three. Of trying to work off the left jab, trying to put the right hand through, weave it through, just uh, Spetku, seen it all before. Spetku uh, had a very promising career as a water polo player, gave it up to fight. A cut over, I think, the right eye of Spetku, and that's nasty, and that must be from a head clash. And I think it's just a little nick. It's nasty, but uh, it's not going to affect Spetku. So I hope that's not going to be a problem because Spetku is uh, storming away here in terms of his performance and uh, the probability of him taking this bout. That's a lot of grease on there. The referee might just want to have a second look at that, but uh, he's allowed it. So they continue. The corner calling for Hasinov to target that cut. Spetku will be looking maybe to tidy this up and put it away. 
Big right hand through there, and Spetku, now he's got his man on the ropes, won't want to let him off. Hazinov really having to employ some evasive work here. Spetku closes his man down, piles the pressure in. Showboats a little bit, drops the hands, and that's the confidence. The high kick goes up. Hashinov had to wear that. Looking like a little pocket dynamo here. Spetku. Turan Hashinov trying desperately to get back into this, surviving, really not doing anything meaningful. He's being outgunned here by Spetku. Whether Spetku's got enough to stop his man, I don't know. That was a great uppercut there, and the right hand keeps firing in. And Spetku just shooting at will here. Hasanov just being warned there about the use of elbow difficult to keep tight though when you're up against a man that's able to hit you from every angle Spetku just shooting at will here less than half a minute left in round two and Hazanov has the capability Spetku's probably thrown his best shots up until now. Can Hazinov get back into this, the corner? Seems to think he can, but he's being properly manhandled in that corner by Kristen Spetku. Spetku really piling in the pressure. And Hazinov gets a standing count at the end of the round. So, Cesar Jorgate, very emphatic about the uh, count there, even though um, the bell had gone. So, again, another busy day in the office, as we can see from the replay for Christian Spetku. That first round. Fast and furious. And the second round, well, that was quick o'clock as well. And, uh, Ciprian Sora, the coach of Spetku, just a little agitated while he's trying to put some grease into the cut that's appeared over the right eye, just in the hairline of the right side of his forehead. And so... Christian Spetku, can he finish this? Third and final round. From Romania, Christian Spetku fighting out of the red corner. From Azerbaijan by way of New York, Turan Hashanov fighting out of the blue. Spetku's dominated throughout the two rounds thus far, going into this third. He's a clear favourite. And he's really looking to finish this. And that was the knee strike that did it! That was clean. And I don't know whether Hashinov will come back completely from that. He makes the count. But Christian Spetku is shaking his bacon. was a screamer of a shot. Spetku now looking to finish this. Under two minutes left. And you can see the focus. So, there's the second count in this third and final round. Well, not an awful lot of incentive for Turan Hashinov with uh, still half this round to go. Rocked by that big left hand there from Spetku.
starting to get just slightly medieval in there for Turan Hazanov. A spet coup. Just avoids a spinning back kick. Uh, back fist brings up the high kick, though, Spetku, in reply. And Hashinov, well, not ready to go down quite that easily. That was a surprise, the spinning back fist. And, uh, good hands from Spetku. Again, tries to bring the knee in close quarters. And Hashinov still looks like he's got gas in the tank. Spetku finding it difficult to put his man away. Under half a minute left now. If he's going to finish it, this would be the time. I don't think he's going to have enough clock left to find the shot. There's the 10 second clapper. And Spetku. Won't get a clean finish to this, but a decisive win nonetheless. Oh, and that was the shot. He'll take the count now. Oh, and that was a real bang. End of. And actually, Spetku was able to do it just in the closing seconds of the third and final round. Well. Superlative and convincing performance from Christian Spetku. Powerful, absolutely definite finish and controlling performance throughout the three rounds. And right from the get-go, I think it was obvious that uh, Turan Hashanov was operating at a different level here. Uh, just looking at the performance of Spetku, it looked like Hashinov was operating on uh, outdated software as well because he got caught so many times across the three rounds. Four mandatory counts, one at the end of the second, and of course three in the third. Decisive vision for a, de a decision for Spetku with a TKO win for his efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, referee takes Eric Yorge stops his fight at 2.59 of round number three. Your winner by technical knockout, Christian Polo Spanku. So Spetku, convincing win there. We're going to have a few, right. few words with uh, Christian. Spetku, congratulations. Another victory. You didn't let it go to decision. You finished the fight once again. Talk about your victory. Yeah, it was a decision by TKO. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to be happy with that. Obviously, a tough fighter. He didn't go away. You knocked him down. I believe four times total you got an actual knockdown. You have to be impressed with his heart coming in in this fight. Yeah, yeah. Is tough, but this guy was specially. No doubt about it. Now, listen, Chrissy, listen, everybody would love to see another title belt around your waist. What's the future for Polo in Super Combat? I hope uh, many victories from now on. I hope uh, that I can, can keep my, uh, my belt and also conquer a lot more. And how do you like Puerto Rico? One final question. What do you think about this beautiful country here? Very beautiful. The most beautiful of all I've seen until now. I'm gonna give him one more. You know, one more question. I, I don't know if you got a girlfriend or not, but every time I come to Romania, they say, what do you think about the Romanian girls? What do you think about the Puerto Rican girls? Puerto Ricans are almost the same as the Romanians because we are Latin. Te quiero. <laughs> Let's give it up, guys. Christian Specku.